Hi, I'm Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI and Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to take a look at plotting accumulation functions on the TI-84. It's a topic that relates nicely to the first free response question on both the AB and BC exams in 2018. So let's get started. In Y1, I've entered the rate function that was given in this problem. It's the rate at which people are getting in line for an escalator. Now the independent variable in the question was actually t for time, but since our functions use x as independent variable, I've replaced t by x. Now the first question in this problem asked for how many people entered the line total between time equals 0 and time equal 300. Now the numerical answer for this is going to, since we're given a rate, will simply be the definite integral from 0 to the 300 of our rate function. We've stored that in y1, so I'm going to go ahead and retrieve y1 so I don't have to type that long formula again, and we'll integrate with respect to x, which is our independent variable. I enter, and we get our answer of 270. So this means 270 people entered line for the escalator during that time interval. So that definite integral calculation has answered the first part of this question. Now we want to take a closer look at this situation by examining that rate function again and think about it as, uh, remember, it's the rate at which people are entering the line over time. Now my window, if we're going to graph that rate function, I've set it up so that we'll have that entire interval from 0 to 300 included. So there's a graph of that rate function. Now keep in mind that this is the rate at which people are entering the line for the escalator. If I turn on trace and go ahead and jump over to zero, we can see at the very beginning, as we march through time here, the number of people entering line per second is very small. Notice that we've just now gotten up to around two people per second entering line. Looks like about the maximum rate at which people enter the line is around 2.6, 2.65. And then the rate is going down. And in fact, as we approach time t equal 200, the rate is getting very, very small. In fact, it's getting close to zero. As I get to x equal 200, which is time t equal to 200, my rate is very, very small. And that graph is, while it's positive, it's very, very close to zero from 200 to 300. So what I want to do now is actually think of a new function, which is going to give us the total number of folks who have accumulated in line from time t equals 0 up to any time x. So for that, I'm going to form a new function y2, where it's a definite integral that goes from 0 to x. And again, we'll be integrating our rate function, which is y1. and our variable of integration, while I could use x again, for good form, let's go ahead and make the variable of integration t. So I'm going to be integrating y1 of t with respect to t. So I'll make my variable of integration t. And now we want to graph this function. Now since this is the accumulation, our window settings might not be appropriate. And if you don't have a good idea what would be a good window, of course you could try some things by trial and error, but there's a zoom setting that's very useful in this case. It's called zoom fit. We have to go all the way down to item zero. See zoom fit. What it does is it will actually sample your function values and determine a good Y range to use for your window automatically. It won't change your X min or X max, but it will set your y min and y max for you. Now you can see that we've got a much larger y range now. This is a much better window setting for our new function. It's not so great for our original rate function, which you can just barely see at this scaling. It's pretty squashed down there at the bottom. Now keep in mind that the red graph is a graph of a running total of the number of people who've entered the line up to any point in time. Now where our rate function was at a maximum, that's going to correspond to a maximum slope on our red graph or an inflection point. 
and where our rate function between 200 and 300 was very close to zero, we can see that our accumulation function is has a slope very close to zero and is very flat over that time interval. Now I've turned on the trace and keep in mind again that this is the running total of how many people have entered the line up to that time. And so we can trace along and investigate any of these values or we can jump all the way to the end of the time interval and again we see that value we saw before of 270 and that makes sense because the value of this function at 300 is exactly that definite integral from 0 to 300 that we calculated before. Okay, now let's take a look at another accumulation function of interest in this problem. We're asked how many people are actually in the line at time t equal 300, given that there were 20 people in the line to start with, and the people are exiting the line at a rate of 0.7 people per second, a constant rate. So we're going to build an accumulation function. The 20 people in line we started with, we have an accumulation function for the number of people entering the line, that's our y2, and then we'll subtract 0.7 times x for the exiting people. And now we combine those and graph this new accumulation function, and now this is a running total of the number of people actually in the line, taking into account the initial number, the folks entering, and the folks exiting the line. If I turn on the trace for this black graph, we can take a look at the total number of people in line at any time x. Now we were asked what was the total number of people in the line at time 300. So we can jump to 300 and check that out. I've typed in 300 and we jump over and see there's 80 people in line at that time. Now we also want to find the minimum number of people in line. I'm going to use the calculate menu and illustrate that, but keep in mind that on the exam itself you'll need to use calculus to justify your answer to a max min question like this. So here I'm entering the uh, an interval that bounds that low point on the graph in a guess, and it's going to report out that minimum. But again, you have got to justify your work on the exam and not just report a calculated result. For more resources like these, please visit education.ti.com.